Hello everyone, Andrew here, Real 4x4 Adventures. Come to you here from Wurram, uh, just outside of Bribey there. Uh, we've just aired down, about to head on to, to Bribey Island forward drive access track to get onto the beach. We've got uh, my car, we've got 76, and then we've got a, another 105 here as well, it's a petrol one. So we're going to go on. Uh, it's a bit of an overcast day, so it won't quite have that beautiful blue sky, but hopefully there'll be a few less people here as well. So, yeah, come along for the ride. Alright, here we go. Coming through the access track to get onto the beach. There's the number plate recognition that sees there. Here we go. Overnight, so it's pretty firm. We've got the tyre pressures down to about 20 pounds. Right, so correction this here is the number plate check, the other one might more be a security one. Come through a little bit slowly here. But so look, I'm not in low range, just in uh, actually second gear right now. Sometimes there, you can see to the left, it's pretty soft over there, but there's been a bit of rain, so today it's pretty firm. Uh, the tyre pressure's low is the key, and then you don't need to hold too crazy a speed. You saw a car come the other way there that was definitely trying to hold a bit too much speed, and it just tears the track up and, and throws the car around. So firm so here's the tip there if there's been a bit of rain beforehand and you're nervous about coming up uh, you will do a lot better Patch here, but no issues at all.
to where it comes out onto the beach. Super smooth now, very firm. entry tracks where they, they get pretty churned up is make sure your tire pressure is low and then just take it slow and easy. And here we can see the entryway or sorry the, the end of the entryway here to the beach. And for an overcast day it still is quite the beautiful sight. On a, on a weekend if the weather was better uh, you'd have cars all lined up along here so whilst I can see a few cars in the distance uh, it's definitely looking like it's going to be a great day without too many cars here we'll uh, catch up again in a moment at one of the lagoons one of the crossings I'm just passing the first lagoon there so sometimes when you come up to Bribe uh, if the lagoon is burst its banks then there's a bit of a Creek crossing here, but not today. And for a day that was meant to be pretty average, there are some ominous clouds in the distance, but right now, pretty amazing. And again, there's not too many cars here, which just makes it beautiful. Alright, just up to the left here, we have another one of waterways there that, that can uh, result in a creek when there's extra water but again today no such worries we're all good again, uh, a few less cars. The threat of bad weather scared them off but with less cars here So the tide is it's kind of like turning now. Um, actually, no, the tide's slowly coming in. But the road is exceptionally smooth. The water is just stunning. All right, so we've got one of the lagoons here which has burst its banks and so there's a little river crossing here that we will navigate we've just watched the other two cars go through so there's a little bit of a drop as you get into it Here. So with the 
earlier high tide one of these tracks are uh, not very deep it's it's pretty smooth this is pretty amazing Rabi Island at its best yes it would be nice with a few less clouds but a few less clouds there'd be a hell of a lot more people that you know people lined up all along here so past maybe 10 or 12 cars So here we are, the other end of Bribey Island Beach Access. Uh, this is as far as you can take the four wheel drives. So we've got the three cars lined up. We just did a quick little photo. And we'll just walk over here now to the sign here. So you've got the vehicle access prohibited beyond this point. There it is. So again, not the best day in terms of the clouds, but with uh, with a few more clouds means there's a lot less people, which is amazing. And so the tide is coming in at the moment, so we're going to get moving, and we'll head back towards the exit, towards the access track. And here is one of those forts looking from a little bit closer. Alright, here we are at one of the forts, probably the biggest fort. Got the cars lined up. It doesn't quite do it justice in the low light today with the weather, but normally there would be a heap of cars. So it's, it's fantastic here that we almost have the beach to ourselves. Yes, yeah, so that's probably the biggest fort. There's another little smaller one over there. Where I'm looking at the moment. Another one over here, which has got we go, we've got Jackson dancing around. And then you've got another one over there. Another further down, and then you get to the point where you can go, the maximum point that you can go to. Okay. Now we're going to with the tide coming in, we're going to keep heading south. So here we are, we're just going to cross this little creek we crossed on the way north and now we're heading south. Uh, it definitely looks like there is less water than what there was when we came across. So far the rain has done the right thing by us and again hardly any people up here which has been amazing. So here we are on the 
beach access track coming off the beach uh, heading back to the car park to air our tyres up it's been a great day again the threat of bad weather um, seemingly kept the masses away which definitely not going to complain about that wasn't the greatest swimming weather but with the rain last night the sand was very compacted the tides did the right thing by us and yeah, a great time was had thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed already make sure you click on that subscribe button below and if you have any comments questions pop them down below as well and thanks for watching